Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Angela, and this is yoga. This morning, um, if you have any type of props, either books or pillows, blocks, something that can bring the floor to you, that would be helpful. And if not, don't worry about it. Um, I'll give lots of options and we'll be able to modify. So let's go ahead and begin in an easy seat. Gently close your eyes or gaze softly at the tip of your nose. And just take a moment to bring yourself into the space. And so notice any sounds around you. And feel the airflow. Take note of your thoughts and just observe. And then shift your attention to your body. Sit up nice and tall and draw a tall spine from your tailbone to the crown of your head. <clears throat> Roll your shoulders up and back. An easy chest. And gently draw your chin towards your chest and lengthen the back of your neck. Relax the muscles in your face, your jaw, your tongue. The area between your eyebrows, the third eye center. And start to notice your breath. The inhale and the exhale. As you inhale, notice your body rise. And as you exhale, notice how it softens and releases. On your next exhale, send all the air out. Together, let's take a breath in. And sigh it out like you're fogging up a window. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. This time, seal your lips. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Mm. Nostril breathing, ujjayi. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And slowly open your eyes or lift your gaze and come into a child's pose. So we separate your knees mat distance apart. Big toes touch. Gently place your forehead on the mat. And continue to breathe here. And this morning in class, I'll offer options throughout. You know that they're just options. And if at any point you need a break, return to child's pose or simply sit on your heels. Now, tempt your fingers, come onto your fingertips, lift your armpits, send your seat a little further back to your heels, and create some more length in your spine. Breathe into your back body. Release your hands down, maybe massage your forehead a bit from side to side on the mat, letting go of any tension. And then slowly make your way onto all fours. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Rotate your right palm so that your fingertips face your knees. Begin to make small circles, just warming up our wrists. This is a good one if we're at the computer or texting often. 
And then switch sides. So rotate your left palm so that your fingertips face your knees. And just make little circles. And feel a stretch through your forearms. And then slowly return your palm back to neutral position. Inhale, arch your spine, gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl and round, gaze towards your navel. Inhale and arch, allow your belly and chest to fall. Exhale, curl and round, push the floor away, dome your upper back. Continue to move like this with your own breath. Try and sync your breath with your movement. I'm going as fast or as slow as feels good. And if you'd like to add any movement, maybe circle your hips. I'm making small or large circles. Noticing any kinks or any areas of tightness, tension. Notice if one side feels a little bit different than the other. And then slowly make your way back to neutral. Exhale all the air out. And tuck your toes, send your seat to the ceiling, downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog. Maybe you can pedal your feet, take your dog for a walk. And sway your hips from side to side. Shake your head yes and no. Flutter your lips. And then find stillness in down dog. So feel equal weight between your hands and feet. Send your sit bones high to the ceiling. Draw your navel towards your spine. Rotate the eye of your elbow slightly out. And press all fingers into the mat. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and come to fold over your legs. You can also place your prop underneath your hands to bring the floor to you. Hold opposite elbows and gently sway your torso from side to side. Imagine that there's a door at the top of your head and you're just letting everything out, all the noise, all the clutter, anything that is not serving you at this moment, just let it go. And then reverse the grip of your elbows. Lower your hands down to the mat, separate your feet. Mat distance apart, squat pose, malasana. If your heels lift up, you can also place a prop underneath your seat. Gently press your elbows towards your inner thighs. Draw everything into the midline of your body. So think about lifting in and up. Know that this is more banda. A lift at the pelvic floor. And then slowly lower your seat down. Extend your legs long. And then bend your knees. Bring your feet together, knees together. Place your right hand by your lower back as you take a gentle twist. So inhale and lengthen and exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then switch sides, wrap your right forearm around your shin and take a twist to the left. See if you can find some length in your lower back. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then slowly come center. Place your hands slightly behind your hips. Feet are hip distance apart in parallel. Press into your heels, lift your hips high. Reverse tabletop. You can stay gazing forward or release your neck and head if that feels okay. And continue to press into your heels to lift your hips. And 
and then slowly release down. Just walk your hands forward, come to fold over your legs once again. And keep a slight bend in your knees as you roll up your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really being mindful of your movement, allowing your neck and head to be heavy. And the last thing to arrive. And bring your feet together, mountain pose, Tadasana, arms by your side, palms face up. And take a moment to gently close your eyes or lower your gaze. And if you'd like to set an intention this morning for the practice, offering your efforts, you can do so now. Or perhaps choose a mantra such as, I am enough, I am strong, I am blessed. These are just examples. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes or lift your gaze. Come to the front of your mat and let's take a collective breath in and a breath out. Sun salutations, inhale, reach your arms overhead, gaze at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, find a flat back, draw your navel towards your spine. Exhale, step your right foot back, low lunge. Exhale, left foot meets right, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose. Lower all the way down onto the mat. Slide forward to a low cobra. Untuck your toes, place your fingertips by your chest. And exhale, feet to heels, and downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, find a low lunge. Exhale, left foot meets right, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Other side, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, place your shoulder blades on your back. Exhale, step your left foot back, low lunge. Right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose. Draw your navel towards your spine. Exhale, lower all the way down onto the mat, onto your tummy. Inhale forward to a low cobra, untuck your toes. And exhale, feet to heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Low lunge, gaze forward. Exhale, right foot meets left, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose. Sit off, now last one, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, find a flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank pose. This time, lower halfway, chaturanga, if you'd like, draw your elbows towards your rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And so friends, as we flow today, I'll cue for chaturanga into up dog. But you can also lower down to the floor and take a low cobra. Choose what's best for your body today. And lift your heels. And bend your knees, walk to the front of the mat, and fold over your legs. Inhale, rise up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Let's take a breath in, and a breath out. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, weight is in your heels, reach your fingertips towards the sky. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift to reach the crown of your head to the wall in front. Exhale, step or jump back to chaturanga, modified push-up. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Turn your back toes down, rise to warrior one. Square your hips to the front. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Widen your stance. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee deeply, reach your right arm back. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Turn up your back heel, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, step your left foot forward. Rise to warrior one. Square both hips to the front. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Reach your arms in opposite directions. Gaze over your fingertips. Inhale, reverse, warrior, bend your front knee deeply. Reach your left arm back. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Turn up your back heel, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. A few breaths here. So reconnect with your ujjayi, your nostril breathing, if you've lost it. And throughout the practice, if your mind wanders, try to bring your attention back to the breath. Follow the inhale and the exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, step through, rise to warrior one. Take a breath in. And exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. See if you can find some more space in your right side body. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Lower chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your left leg high, down dog. Exhale, step through low lunge. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Breathe into your rib cage. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Lower to the mat or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. And take inventory of your shape from your feet to your fingertips. Try and find a curiosity throughout your practice. So even if down dog, you've done many, see if you can approach it in a new way each time. Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of the mat and fold over your legs. Inhale, chair pose. See if you can sit a little bit lower. Exhale, mountain pose. Tadasana, roll your shoulders back. And take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump. And back to Chaturanga, gaze slightly forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise to warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, reverse triangle. So straighten your front leg. Lengthen through both sides of your waist. Find a connection from your heel to your fingertips. Inhale, rise to stand and exhale, triangle pose. Send your hips back, crown of head forward. See if you can find a slight back bend behind your heart. All right, try and keep an open heart throughout the practice, an open mind. Receive what's coming ahead. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. 
Exhale, reach your left arm. Find an isometric, isometric contraction. <laughs> and inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, turn both feet parallel, hands to waist. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold forward, hands to mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, draw the crown of your head towards the ground. You can also place something under your hands to bring the floor to you. And if you find that your head touches down easily, maybe you walk your feet in a bit. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And try not to drag the weight back into your heels, into the past, or lean too far forward anticipating what's next, but stay in the center, in the moment, in the present. Inhale, lengthen your spine forward. Place your left hand a little bit in front and in the center of the mat. Place your right hand on your sacrum. Find a flat back. And then take a gentle twist to the right, trying to twist from your navel up. And slowly come center, switch sides. Place your right hand down a little bit forward. Place your left hand on your sacrum and find a flat back. And then extend your left arm towards the ceiling. And take a big breath in. Feel expansive across your chest. And a big breath out. Inhale, come forward. Let's lunge to the right. So bend your right knee. Inhale, come center. And exhale, bend your left. Inhale, center, and you can make these as large or as small as feels good, right? So it's Monday morning, be gentle with your body. And just think your movement with your breath. And make sure that you do the same amount on both sides. And slowly come center. Walk your hands over to the inside of your right foot and turn up your left heel. So we're moving into lizard. Begin by sending your chest through your arms, gazing slightly forward. If you'd like to lower your back knee down and untuck your toes, you can also lower down onto your forearms. If you're feeling extra bendy this morning, breathe into your left hip flexor. And see if you can use the breath to soften where you may feel tightness with your face. And then slowly tuck your back toes and lift your knee as you lower it down. Place your left hand down. We're moving into side plank or Vashi Stasana. So see if in one motion you can stack your right foot on top of your left, reach your right arm high. Find a side plank. You can also modify and place your left knee on the mat. In side plank, feel that there's a beach ball underneath your hips and you're lifting away from it. And then slowly come center, return to plank. Take a vinyasa, which is chaturanga, into up dog, or just step back to downward facing dog. We will all meet in down dog. Nice flow, everyone. On an inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through low lunge. Inhale, rise to warrior one. And exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And take a big stretch back. Exhale, reverse triangle. So straighten your front leg. Feel a connection from your heel to your fingertips. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, triangle pose. Send your hips back, crown of head forward. Crown down through the outer edge of your back foot. Reach through your fingertips. And find a slight back bend behind your heart. Try and keep an open heart. Inhale, reach your left arm forward. Exhale, reach your right arm forward. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, turn both feet parallel. 
hands to your waist. Inhale, lift your chest. This time, interlace your hands behind your back and exhale, fold forward. Draw the crown of your head towards the ground. Breathe into your shoulders. And deep full inhales and deep full exhales. Allow the breath to support your practice. And inhale, gaze forward, hands to mat. Place your right hand down, left hand on your sacrum, and take a twist to the left. See if you can find a little more space. And then slowly come center and switch sides, left hand down, and check in that your back is flat, right arm to the ceiling. And slowly come center. Inhale here, exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Again, go with your breath, right? Your own pace, sync breath to movement. It's one of the things we're trying to accomplish throughout the entire practice. And then once you've done an equal amount on both sides, walk your hands to the inside of your left foot and turn up your back heel. Coming into lizard pose. Connect your left knee and shoulder. And maybe you untuck your toes, lower your knee. Also the option to move on to your forearms or stay exactly where you are. And tuck your toes, lift your knee. Moving into side plank or Vashisthasana. So press down through your right hand. And in one motion, see if you can stack your left leg on top, reach your left arm high. Lift away from the beach ball that's underneath you, the imaginary beach ball. And then slowly come center. And take a vinyasa, chaturanga into up dog, or just press back to downward facing dog. And remember, child's pose is always available, or you can simply sit on your heels. Right? Just really trying to get in tune with your body and what it needs this morning. On an inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise to warrior one. And exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Listen for the change. Exhale, modify side angle. Place your right forearm on your thigh. Reach your left arm forward. And find a flow. So inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modify side angle. Last one, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modify side angle. And stay here or take extended side angle A. Place your right hand in front of your right foot on the floor on a block. Reach your left arm straight to the ceiling. So feel a line from wrist to wrist. Relax your shoulder away from your ear. Inhale, gaze down at your front foot. And exhale, moving into half moon pose. So try and stay low. As you pop your back foot in, place your right hand a few inches in front of your right foot on the floor on a prop. Open up your hips to the side wall. Flex your back foot strong. And if you feel steady here, maybe you reach your left arm up. Maybe you bend your leg, grab your foot or your ankle. Again, these are just options, right? We, we always have options. We get into trouble when we think we don't, right? When we feel stuck. So know that there are always options. And if you're working on balance, simply try and find a point of focus, something that's not moving to steady the pose. And take a big step back. Find warrior two. 
Start up your back heel, place your left hand down, right arm to the ceiling, come into a low lunge twist. Square your hips to the front and twist from your navel up. Inhale, lower your back knee down, bend your leg, maybe you catch your foot or your ankle for a quad stretch. This is a big muscle group. All right, all the runners in the house or um, people who spin, this is a good stretch to open up that area. And then slowly release your back leg. Begin to come forward over your right leg. So straighten your right leg and start by pressing the toes down. So point your foot. This could be kind of intense. Um, on your ankle, so move slowly and mindfully. We're coming into half Hanumanasana or runner's lunge. And then go ahead, flex your toes back, bend your hips back. Try and find a flat back in your spine, breathe into your hamstrings. And then slowly come forward. Make your way back into a tabletop position. And press back to downward facing dog. Take vinyasa or hold down dog. On an inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step through low lunge. Inhale, rise to warrior one. And exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, modified side angle, left arm on your thigh, right arm forward. And find a flow. So inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified side angle, connecting breath to movement. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, modified side angle. So stay here or place your left hand in front of your left foot on the floor on a block. Reach your right arm straight to the ceiling, extended side angle A. And continue to find that open chest. Being open to receiving what's ahead. Having an open heart. Inhale, gaze down at your left foot. Stay low. Moving with your breath into half moon pose. Place your left hand a few inches in front. And flex your back foot strong. Open up your hips. And then move into any variation you may have chosen on the other side. Again, the variations are just optional. And if you fall out, like I just did, just come back, right? It's a practice, not a perfect. If you can find a playfulness in your practice, and then take a big step back, come into warrior two. Place your right hand down, turn up your back heel, left arm to the ceiling for a low lunge twist. Feel expansive across your chest. And lower your back knee down, reach around, grab your foot or your ankle, and send your gaze towards the sky. And release your back leg. Begin to straighten your front leg as you send your hips back. Try and start with a pointed foot as much as possible. And again, this could be intense on your ankle. We don't stretch this area very often. So only go as far as you can while maintaining the breath, right? If we lose our breath, we know we've gone too far. And then go ahead, flex your foot back. Try and find a flat back as much as possible. And breathe into your hamstrings. And then slowly come forward. 
Make your way into a tabletop position and press back to downward facing dog. And we'll take vinyasa or simply hold down dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Listen for the change. Inhale, rise to a high lunge and pause here. So engage your left quad, draw your navel towards your spine and bend your fingertips to the ceiling. And goddess arms, bend your elbows out to the side, open across your chest. Inhale, straighten, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, bend, goddess arms. Try and knit your ribs together. Inhale, straighten. So try not to allow them to pop out. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. And exhale, bend. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, take a twist to the right. Now you can modify by placing your back knee down on the ground. You can also take an arm variation here, either open the arms or take a bind if that's in your practice. Try and square your hips and twist from your navel up. And then inhale, hands down, frame your front foot. Hop your back foot in until your feet are about three and a half feet apart. Pyramid pose. You can also place your prop under your hands to bring the floor to you. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale. Fold forward over your leg. Breathe into your hamstring. And again, if your mind wanders, just allow whatever comes to the surface, those thoughts to wash over you. And try and bring your attention back to your breath. So follow the inhale and the exhale. Or if you set an intention today, or chose a mantra, you can also draw on that. Inhale, gaze slightly forward. Exhale, lift your left leg high. We're coming into a standing split. So if your hands are on the props, you can keep them there. And try and relax your neck and head, your shoulders, easy upper body. Reach your toes to the sky. Take one more breath here, and then open your hip and bend your knee. Tuck your back leg under and come to sit. And so we're moving into Gomukhasana, and try to stack your knees one on top of another and send your feet away from your seat. Now, if you have any pain in your knee or this is simply not happening, just take easy seats, so cross your ankles. In Gomukhasana, bend your left arm behind your head. So we're taking cow face arms and then reach your right arm back. Maybe your fingertips meet. Or maybe you grab onto your shirt or a strap. And then inhale, lift your chest and exhale. Slowly moving with your breath, fold forward over your leg. Try and keep both sit bones grounded. Breathe into your hips. Relax your jaw. We tend to clench our jaw. And that is felt in our hips. So tightness in our hips is also related to clenching our jaw. So try and relax the muscles in your face. And then slowly come up to sit. Cross your ankles and make your way back to downward facing dog. You take vinyasa or hold down dog. On an inhale, lift your left leg high, down dog kick. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, rise to a high lunge. So this time engage your right quad. Hips are forward facing. Reach your fingertips to the sky. Inhale, goddess arms, so bend your elbows. Try not to let your ribs pop out. Inhale, straighten and extend. Exhale, bend. 
Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center, lift your chest and exhale, take the twist to the left. Pick any variation you may have chosen on the other side. So whether you modified or if you took an arm variation, you wanna try and treat both sides of the body equally, trying to balance right and left. And then inhale, hands down, frame your front foot. Pop your back foot in. So feet are on railroad tracks, not in a straight line. And inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward over your left leg. And try and keep an easy upper body. Allow your shoulders, neck, head to release. And inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, reach your right leg high. Find a standing foot. Reach your toes to the ceiling. Gaze slightly forward. You can also play with the balance. There's always somewhere to go and grow. Right? Inhale, open your hip. Bend your knee, tuck your back leg under, and come to sit. So, Gomukhasana, left side, stack your knees as much as possible, one on top of another. Bring your feet away from the midline of your body. And again, if you have any type of knee pain, um, or this is just not happening, take an easy seat. Feel both sit bones even on the ground. This time, reach your right arm overhead. Reach your left hand behind, and maybe your hands meet. You may notice that one side is a little more open than the other. Right? This is all information. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, fold forward with your breath. And if, if you feel discomfort, see if you can lean into that as opposed to running away. And when you lean into the discomfort, notice what happens, right? That's when we change, when we grow, when the magic happens. And inhale slowly, come up to sit, cross your ankles, step back to downward facing dog, take a vinyasa or simply hold down dog. You can also take a child's pose at any point. On an inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, draw your right knee behind your right wrist. So we're moving into pigeon. And send your left leg long directly behind you. If pigeon is not happening, you can also take reclining figure four. In pigeon, inhale, lift out of your lower back. And exhale, fold forward, make a pillow for your hand, pillow with your hands for your forehead. And just take a moment to let everything go. So feel the ground supporting you from the bottom up. Allow your body to just melt into the ground. See if you can use the breath to soften in any areas that may remain tight or tense. Slowly come up to sit. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, lift your right leg high. And just shake it out. Exhale, lower your right leg to meet your left. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, left knee behind left wrist. Pigeon pose or take figure four. Inhale, see if you can lift out of your lower back. And exhale, fold forward. 
Make a pillow for your forehead with your hands. And just take this time to go inward. So feel the effects of the practice. Feel your blood flowing, prana energy. Areas that were stuck are now open. Notice your heart beating. Notice your breath and how it might be different from when we started. And then slowly come up to sit. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, lift your left leg high and just shake it out. And then lower your left leg down to meet your right. Inhale, come forward to a plank pose. And exhale, lower all the way down onto the mat, onto your tummy. So zip up your legs. Imagine that there's a pin underneath your belly button and you're drawing away from it. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. And then inhale, lift everything up as though you're flying. And then gaze down at the floor so the back of your neck is long. And inhale, lift a little bit higher if you can and exhale, lower down, turn your cheek to one side and rock your hips from side to side to release your lower back. And bend your knees, grab your ankles and setting up for bow. Inhale, kick your feet into your hands, lift everything up. Try not to strain. And try and use the breath to soften. And make sure you're breathing, right? <laughs> if we lose the breath, we know we've gone too far. Take one more breath, see if you can lift a little higher. And then slowly release down, turn your cheek to the other side and rock your hips from side to side. And rolling over onto our back, setting up for bridge pose. So. Uh, two options here. If you have a prop and you'd like to take a restorative bridge, you could place that underneath your sacrum and just kind of hang out here. That could feel nice at this point in the practice. Or simply take bridge. So bring your heels close to your feet, fingertips raise your heels. And when you're ready, lift your lower middle, upper back off the mat. Roll your shoulders under, open up your chest. Continue to press down into your heels. See if you can lift your hips a little higher. And then slowly release down, upper, middle, lower back. If you're in the restorative pose, feel free to hang out there. Everyone else, separate your feet mat distance apart and allow your knees to just fall into one another. Widen across your sacrum. Now we'll repeat bridge or you can take wheel if it's in your practice. And if you're taking wheel, hands come by your ears. Maybe you first lift to the crown of your head if you're working on wheel. And when you're ready, lift up into either bridge or wheel. And check in that your feet are parallel in both poses. I like to turn my feet in a little bit. See if you can find more of a back bend in your upper back, right? So try not to collapse into your lower spine. And then slowly release down upper, middle, lower back. If you're in the restorative pose, just remove your prop. Everyone hug your knees into your chest. Make small circles on your sacrum, going in one direction. And then reverse the circle. And take happy baby. So bend your knees, grab the outsides of your feet. Draw your knees towards your armpits. Draw your tailbone down. Maybe you rock a little from side to side. This could feel good or straighten one leg and the other. 
babies get it, man. <laughs> My son has just mastered this pose. <laughs> He's eight months. And then slowly bring your knees into your chest. Give them a little squeeze. Begin to rock and roll up and down your spine, massaging your lower back until you come up to sit. Extend both legs in front of you, seated forward fold or Paschimottanasana. So first find your sit bones and draw a tall spine and flex your feet strong. And you can bend your knees here, place your hands by your hips. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold forward over your legs, holding your toes or your shins or taking a vine. Right, and again, bend your knees as much as you need to just so you have some contact with your body. And see if you can find that balance between effort and ease. We'll be here for about 10 breaths. So as you inhale, think about lengthening your lower back and as you exhale, fold a little bit deeper into yourself. And breathing into your back body. And again, it's in the quiet moments when our mind can perhaps wander. So draw on your tools, allow the thoughts to wash over you, bring your attention back to your breath, follow the inhale and the exhale. Repeat a mantra if you have one. And then slowly come up to sit. Hug your right knee into your chest. Place the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. So your legs are in a tree pose shape, but we're sitting down. Inhale, lift your chest, flex your left foot strong, and exhale, fold forward. Again, be sure to have some contact, hold your shin, your foot, or take a bind. And try and square your torso over your left leg. Slowly come up to sit. Extend your right leg to meet your left and switch sides. So hug your left knee in. Place the sole of your left foot against your right inner thigh. And sit up nice and tall. Lift out of your lower, lower back. Flex your right foot strong. And exhale, fold forward over your leg. Slowly come up to sit. Place the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall out to the side. And try off to the star pose. So our legs are in a diamond shape. Bring your feet away from the midline of your body. Inhale, lift your chest to the sky. And exhale, fold forward, rounding your spine. Draw the crown of your head towards the soles of your feet. Breathe into your back body. And then slowly come up to sit. If you're ready to rest, simply lie down in Supta Baddha Konasana. Maybe you place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. If you would like to seal the practice with an inversion, either shoulder stand or headstand, you can take that now. Just be sure to choose something that's down regulating, right? Preparing our body to rest.
And if you're inverting, simply take your time. Everyone else, make your way into Shavasana, final resting pose. <laughs> so draw your legs long along the mat. Allow your feet to fall out to the side, arms by your side, <clears throat> palms face up. Close your eyes and simply rest. Your only job right now is to rest. Just let everything go. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you would like. Or if you're ready, slowly begin to make small movements with your fingers and toes. And gently move your head from side to side. Roll to one side and pause here. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly make your way to sit. Find a comfortable seat, ending as we began. Just take a moment to notice if you feel peaceful. And if you do, see if you can hold on to this feeling, keep it inside as you go on with your day, go out into the world. Bringing our hands at heart center. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this morning. The light in me bows to the light in all of you. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Have a lovely day, start to the week.